Hi everyone, it's your girl T, and today I'm going to be spilling that tea on a Hair Spells wig review. I usually get my hair done with real hair uh, about twice a year. I usually get a weave put in, um, and that's where I kind of splurge my money in the between months where I just don't feel like putting out that kind of money. I do uh, buy the cheaper options. I get the synthetic wigs and I just think they're so fun. You can order them in so many different colors. You can style them. You can have, like I said, a new hairdo every day. So that's why I just, synthetic wigs are just so fun to me. So I got this unit from Hair Spells. Um, you do offer virgin hair as well. Um, but this one, I got the synthetic hair. So hairspells.com is where I got this. It comes in this beautiful like satin bag. It's so soft and it's so cute. Um, and the unit is just inside here in this little pocket. So I purchased this for $55. It's called the Rihanna Red wig it's straight it's about 26 inches long uh, you can style it um, it does take temperatures up to 180 degrees so you can do a light curl on it if you would like I personally whenever I wear colored wigs I really like to just have them like be bone straight I saw this unit on their website I fell in love with it because I was like oh my god I need this color red in my life it was just screaming to me at the moment summer's coming up so why not be you know wild and adventurous so that's kind of what my theme is today I'm wearing my red dress I got my red lips on so why not just slap on some red hair on top of it so this is my natural hair and I'm sorry it's a hot mess guys but I just got out of the shower a little bit ago so it's still a little damp and curly and it's still got some fresh leave-in conditioner <laughs> in it. So let's get into um, what the wig actually looks like. So I'm going to open up this bag here and just pulling it out of the bag. I did previously open this before. It does come in like the very thin um, netting. It's kind of curled up like this. Um, it's kind of like folded into itself. So, you know, it doesn't get all tangly and ratty, but of course <laughs> I forgot to put the netting back in. So mine of course got a little bit tangly, but when I first took this out of the packaging, um, it was beautifully packaged. There was not a hair out of place as there is now. Um, and actually keeping it in this bag a couple days without the netting didn't do it too much harm. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, the first thing I'm noticing about this unit is the lace is very light, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, depending on your skin tone. Um, for me, I've noticed that the lighter the lace, um, the better I have blending with it because I have like a medium skin tone. So it kind of, you know, not melts, but it kind of um, hides on my skin a little bit better than if I were to get darker colored laces. But at the same time, my hair is jet black. So having like the lighter cap underneath, I feel like if the wig isn't very dense, then in the parting space, you can see my hair or my wig cap underneath, depending on what color wig cap I have. So I have to be careful myself with this lighter color lace, um, but it's very soft. It's very fine. So inside the unit, this is what it looks like. You have, looks like three combs, two on the side, and then one in the back which I am, oh, I'm sorry. It's two on the side, one in the front. So I love the three combs. I rely on the combs more than literally anything. My hair, like my natural hair is so soft that when I pull wigs in, it's like, oh, is it gonna blow off? <laughs> I get really nervous. So the fact that there's three combs for that extra security and as well as these two, like, I call them drawstrings. They remind me of like this, like sweatpants, 
like where you pull them together and it just makes it tighter. I also rely on this. If one or the other is missing, I'm probably not going to wear the unit. So I'm really glad that this has the three combs that I love and then it also has this drawstring that helps tighten it. All right. So let's go and see what this looks like. I'm going to put it on my mannequin head first so we can kind of get like a 360 view of what it looks like, the length, and then I will put it on myself as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is what the unit looks like. It's 26 inches long. And this is the parting space here. It doesn't go as far back as I would like it to go, but it's definitely workable. Just need to pluck a little bit around that parting space to get it even. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my head now. So I'm just gonna put my wig cap on. I'm just gonna wear this tan one because I know the lace is light. So I'm gonna wear the lightest wig cap that I have. So without cutting it or anything, this is what it looks like on my head. The lace is like very long. <laughs> like I typically wear the part in the middle um, with the colored wings, but catch me with any other wig and you all know I rock my side part. I rock a deep side part too. My part's like this. Ooh, but that actually doesn't look bad like that oh, it's kind of nice actually but I'm not going to show you how I cut my lace because I think I'm very bad at it <laughs> so taking any advice from me about cutting your lace um uh, now don't listen to me uh so I'll show you what it looks like once I cut the lace the way that I like it the way that I do it okay so this is what the unit looks like um all I did was I just cut the lace. Um, I put down my edges with my um, got to be glued hair gel and hairspray. And then I just used my wax stick just to kind of lay that part down a little bit. Um, so yeah, I didn't really do any real styling to it. I just want to give you guys the basics of what the wig is like, um, what it looks like with minimal styling to it, because honestly, um, when it comes down to it, the way I wear my synthetic wigs is I do it for fun. So I don't like to spend a lot of hours on my hair, especially if I'm on the go in the morning. Um, I'm not one to spend an hour on my hair. Now my makeup on the other hand, I will spend an hour on that. Um, the length of it, let me see if you guys can see, it's 26 inches. So it just goes past like, sorry. Um, has my bust oh, pretty much down to almost down to my butt um, and I'm 5'2". So, so far I've had minimal tangling. Now I will say that um, it kind of like clumps together like if you're familiar with uh, synthetic wigs especially in the back area where the neck is it just clumps up so bad. Um, this, I can totally see it happening with this as well. Um, but the unit itself is so dense that I'm not worried that I'm going to lose a lot of hair when I brush it. Like, honestly, I've been brushing this thing like a crazy person since I unboxed it and it's, it's minimal shedding. So the one con I want to talk about is I didn't do anything to this part here. Um, and it's very small. <laughs> I like a part that goes like almost all the way back, uh, just because it looks more natural that way. And I have a lot more flexibility, um, you know, with plucking it and what the hairline looks like. Um, but I'm just going to have to pluck this a little bit more. So basically I'm actually really happy with the way this looks. It, I think it turned out really nice and I just I love the color and red is a color that I am kind of scared of on my head. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so this hair, like I said, it's from Hair Spells. It's $55. It's called the Rihanna Red Wig. And it's in a street style. Um, ordering off of Hair Spells, I can honestly say, was pretty easy. Uh, given the fact that I ordered this when the whole um, COVID panic pandemic started, I'll definitely be buying from them again. I think they're synthetic wigs. I mean, these are some pretty thick wigs and it, I'm pretty impressed um, as a first time buyer. And like I said, the shedding, it's like so minimal that I'm like, oh my God. I've never had it like this before so I'm very happy and pleasantly surprised with my experience trying this new company um I definitely give it five stars and this is exactly the color I was looking for the style I was looking for so I cannot wait till all of this um horrible horrible things happening in the world right now is just over with so we can go out and enjoy our lives and enjoy our family and everybody be safe so yeah so thank you for tuning in and watching this review and hopefully you stay tuned for my next one have a good day